Hey guys, so this is another still good video. This time is for Kath Bad, and <laughs> for a lot of people, the answer is really obvious, but since this summon is available, I decided to do this one. So, just in case if you have any doubts if you want to summon him or not, well, hopefully, this video helps you decide. So, <laughs> Kath Bad has been one of the most dominating heroes in the game ever since, well, ever since the game was released, pretty much. So yeah, he's a really, really powerful hero. It's not not exactly because of damage, it's because of his controlling abilities. So, thinks, many people may not realize this, but if he has buffs, he'll throw more orbs, up to 5, on, on himself. So, since he's a Shadingale hero, that made sense. So each orb does 70% 70, uh, 70 damage, which is not anything to talk home or anything. But the main thing is that he every single one of these hits, there's a 30% chance they're, they're going to tur be turned into mushroom. So that's the big ability about this. And I'm going to show you in different ways why. So, uh, and uh, if he's on, on the attack, uh, he'll turn... Um, three non-green Naya stones into Naya healing stones, so that is super relevant, and, and especially in green, because green turns a lot of stones into green stones. That's pretty nice. And on defense, instead he heals three random heroes and his nearby heroes. So this is super relevant on defense. So pretty much everything that I just read is relevant for him. So yeah, he he's a he's a one man, one man everything for everything pretty much. <laughs> so let's check his awakenings, because this is one of these heroes that even at plus zero he is very good. So I can't really recommend him enough in this sense. However, if you get him plus one, he'll get twenty percent uh, shields, which is super relevant on defense. And since he is. I forgot to mention, it says he is a fast hero. He is going to go off a lot. So, incredible ability. He's fast. It, yeah. So, anyway. Uh, second one is, uh, he gets 8% and he takes 5% less damage. So, that's going to help him a lot on defense, if you, if you can believe that. So, the third one, many people may not... Uh, pay a lot of attention to this, but 15% on more stats uh, prior for weapons and runes. That is really relevant, guys. So, so yeah. So if you if you're thinking about plus three him, this is a really nice one to have. So the same one as the second one, and this is the big one. Many people may ignore his plus five, but his plus five makes them. Disgusting. Disgusting. Because he goes off. He's going to create less mana, less mana. And if you attack him on... If he's on defense and you attack him, you're going to notice that he goes off, he goes off, he goes off, he goes off. That's because he's he, he's become a fa uh, faster than very fast here at this point. Because he's is up to 50%. So, so pretty much 50 So... He's going to fill up, he's going to go off, he's going to fill up, he's going to go off. It's, And everybody's going to be turned into a mushroom. So yeah, that's that's pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy, guys. So we're going to give him a spin right here now. Um, Hopefully it does let me. Hmm. Let's see, since it... Yeah, since I attack Paul so many times, I don't think it's going to let me. Let me see if he does have... I'm going to try to search for someone with damage here. Oh, Alfred does have it. Cool. So let's go here. So... Teams that you could use Cathbat... <laughs> pretty much every single team that you can put him in, he he's amazing. But if you want to actually... Uh, make a hero uh sorry a team that is even better for him usually the green team is good or any team that gives some buffs uh, that can definitely be useful for him because straight off the bat he's gonna go off 
and the healing stack that he has is considered as a stack. So that's going to be four orbs that he's going to shoot. But you can add other heroes here. Let's see... Well, the main ones are the green ones, really. Because she's going to give him attack. And she's going to give him heals and so forth. Yeah. So, pretty much, he's one of those heroes that even on his own, he's going to do a bunch of different things. Usually on the green team, but even on any team that you play in, he's going to be really nice. So, weapons that you actually you can use on him. You can give him Elmis's weapon, because he is going to lose life, and he is going to heal, and that's going to give him more stacks of mana. That's one weapon. Another weapon you could give him is Fiona's weapon. That's going to give him more mana gain. Because you do want him to go a lot, off a lot. And if you don't have a better holder, you can use the, the energy staff. Uh, and so he can uh, fill up a, a bunch of mana here for everybody. Um, but usually you can even give him Alia's staff to raise his availability. Even on defense, even on the attack. Many times you're going to need this on the on the attack as well. Many options for him. For sure. So. Anyhow. We're going to test them out. And we're going to use this one. Let's see if we can choose someone else. They can actually... Oh. Yeah, Ruby can be good here. He's does buff here. So, let's see, 68, so that's a good team, so let's give him a try. So something important you ha do have to take into account is that uh, his probably his only weakness is if a hero has shields, it, he has a lot, lot less pr probability to uh, turning people into mushrooms, so... If you have the ability uh, to target another hero that doesn't have shields, that's going to be uh, help you a lot more in doing the mushroom game. Hopefully I can fill this up here. So, people absolutely love to use him uh, versus uh, damage share. Because uh, even though the damage... Oh, come on, not him. So we're going to have to wait a little longer here. Alright, let's do like this. Let's buff in a little bit here. And... Oh, that's terrible. Alright, let's start this. Let's see if we can do it here. Yep. Yikes. Alright. <laughs> oh my god, I never get tired of that. And you do know why um, Survivor did not get Shroom? Because probably he had uh, shields. He always had shields on him. So this is an excellent example of why uh, you should use him. If you see a damage here, you can definitely use him. Uh, to, yeah, shroom everybody. <laughs> yeah, this has always been a crazy crazy thing to watch. But, if the enemy you want to shroom has shields, you have to take away the shields or wait for the shields to actually disappear. To actually uh, make that happen. And yeah, I'm talking about Palmyra. If you see her in war, you have to make sure that her shield is disappeared you wait your turns if necessary and then you should uh cath bat on her and that's gonna help you uh, beat her sooner or later crossing your fingers oh yeah i forgot to say that zanya has the ability to take away uh two debuffs so that's why she disappeared uh the, the sh shrooms faster there so yeah that's gonna be really funny. So, he has the shield. It's a little bit of shield. 
So if if the shields break, there we go. Oh well, he killed, he died. <laughs> so if the shield breaks, um, the, the if the um, orbs break the shield, it can turn uh, the enemies into mushrooms. Okay. All right. Every nobody has shields, so let's do it again. Let's do it like this to make sure he has nice buffs and. Let's see, and <laughs> I never get tired of that, for real. Alright, we definitely gotta kill Zanya. She's gonna be, she's starting to be really annoying here. Alright. So that's the main things that I wanted to show you about, um, Cathbat here. Go. Okay, can wait another turn. All right. Hmm. Apparently not. Oh darn it! Oh. Well, that worked. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, for sure. <laughs> Just by turning every single uh, enemy as a sh as a mushroom with damage share, he's 100% worth it, guys. So that's the main thing about uh, Cathbad. That makes him such a dominating hero. So, yeah, guys. Uh, Cathbad is an amazing hero. And something that you may need to take into account is the Shattengale uh, faction. Uh, he'll get uh, buffs like 1, 2, up to 3, if you so forth. So that's going to help him keep his buffs up and things like that. And uh, creating stones and heals. There's, there's an incredible amount of synergy with this faction and him. So, yeah. If you have had any doubts of getting Cathbad... Erase them from your mind. You have to get Cathbad. If you don't have him, he is a must. If he's plus zero, you can decide not to summon him. Because on his own, he's amazing. But if you don't have him, have him, you he is a must-have hero for sure. Alright. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.